Hi, Captain Steve from BoatTest.com, and this is the 2660 by Sailfish. It's one of the biggest 26 footers we've seen, nine foot beam. Let's go check it out. Right in the stern, a Yeti cooler that can be used for either a forward facing bench seat or switch position for an aft facing seat, opening up the transom for fishing. One, two, three, four rod holders, two stainless steel drink holders, and check this out a dedicated ski tow pylon. Bolsters all around at the transom. They come up 29 inches in both the port and starboard quarter, removable jump seats, and a 30 gallon live well. A fresh water wash down with check it out. A nice reach and it's tapped into the 14 gallon fresh water tank. In the transom, check it out, a pump room. And remember, that ski tow pylon that we talked about, notice the mount fork goes right down into the stringers. And the aft side of the leaning post, 35 gallons. Normally live wells are painted blue to reduce the shock factor of your live bait. This one is not, it's just an extra step in the gel coat. Instead, they went with blue LED lighting inside. Two drink holders, sink with another fresh water wash down, and all the way to the port side of the leaning post, knife storage and hook storage. I'd like to see a cutting surface here. Moving up, four rocket launchers on the leaning post, six on the back of the T-top, two more on the side for a total of 12 rocket launchers. Your digital Yamaha instrumentation, waterproof, touch sensitive switches, 12 volt in input, stereo at the helm with a CD input. And check out the Lemco trim tabs right in front of the throttles with indicators on both sides. Notice the flat storage area here. It's angled down so things won't get dumped out and even if you do really hit the throttles, there's a fiddle to keep everything in place. Notice the compass is right in line with the helmsman. You don't usually see that. For some reason, they're always mounted in the center. Just ahead, you've got a storage space that's compartmentalized and draining. You've got input for your MP3 player and another 12 volt input. Overhead. PFD storage, and notice no electronics box. Sailfish tells us that there isn't a lot of demand for that because they're always so high and you have to get up on a step to reach anything in there, but if you're a tunnel operator and you really want an electronics box up there, it's pre-rigged to run the wires for you. As we move forward, pop-up cleat, seven inches, another rod holder, and look at this. The stainless steel grab rail goes all the way back to this area, so when you really need to grab your way in a head sea, you've got everything to hold on to. Check down here, under gunnel rod storage, and notice the tow rail. You can actually get your feet underneath it for a change. Forward, we have 260 quart each self-draining fish lockers. In the center of the foredeck, you have storage. No gas assist struts, so it will close on you. It's not gasketed either, but around the lip, you'll notice it's got a drain. There's a cutout for a five gallon bucket. I'd like to see something going across to hold that bucket in place though. All the way up at the bow, you can remove this cushion and you've got non-skid to make it into a casting platform. Got an anchor davit, chain and road storage underneath. If you go for the windlass option, you're not gonna be able to open this, but to get inside, a simple locker. Good thinking, sailfish. And inside the console itself, a roomy head. Yes, it's roomy, but I'd like to see padding all around. You're gonna take this boat offshore and it's gonna be in a heavy seaway. You're gonna get thrown all over the place in here. Pad the bulkheads. On the aft bulkhead, access to your electronics, battery switches, circuit breakers. At the transom, it's pre-rigged for your raw water wash down. We also have a combined 300 horsepower. The boat can handle up to 500. Check it out, top of the gunnel. Little pop-up cleat for your fender. I like how they've put the cleat on the aft part of the transom instead of on top in the snag zone. Four-step boarding ladder instead of three-step. Thank you, sailfish. And there's your water fill. 35 inches from the water line to the rub rail. Underneath, dual lifting strikes, hard shine. Check out the flare of this bow. 
Well, there's our look at the 2660 center console from Sailfish. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.